Welcome to this webinar on the use of Integrate products used in high value infrastructure new build projects. My name is Graham James. I'm General Manager of Flexcrete Technologies in UK, uh, Axinabel's Centre of Excellence for Polymer Cement Chemistry. This webinar is one in a series of modules on the Integrate product range. For more detail on Integrate technology, products and other areas of business focus, please visit the Integrate e-learning suite. Our agenda today will cover some of the design life considerations and the practical issues which are met during construction on new build infrastructure projects. We'll then look at the Integrate range in summary and review some relevant project examples. Firstly, we will look at some design life considerations. The quality and depth of concrete cover is absolutely critical. It's also important to match materials to the design life of the structure. Appropriate provision should be made for waterproofing, for example, at tie holes. We also need to consider below grade conditions versus atmospheric exposure. There may be the requirement for additional chloride protection. Will the change of use of the structure in question be an issue in the future? Is a durable functional finish or a high quality aesthetic finish appropriate? Material selection can also influence construction efficiency, as can the reliability and ease of insul installation. And of course, manufacturer accreditations and track record should be carefully assessed. Moving on to the practical issues, achieving the correct design cover can be a challenge. For example, the formwork may be misplaced or the steel reinforcement itself could be knocked during erection. When the shutters are released, poor timing or poor technique can cause disruption to the face of the concrete. And similarly, problems can occur during slip forming when the concrete formwork rises. Inadequate compaction can also result in weak surfaces, as can over troweling of the concrete. A common problem is with leaking kicker and day joints. The influence of weather should not be ignored either, with extremes causing difficulties, particularly frost, heat, wind and rain. Accidental mechanical damage uh, occurs on construction sites. And design changes could also introduce further practical issues for the contractor. And there is the overarching issue of health and safety when working with operatives or the public in close proximity. Looking briefly at the products used in new build high value infrastructure, Integrate 4801, our high strength hand placed or spray applied structural grade repair mortar. Where rapid setting and rapid hardening is required, Integrate 4802 is the obvious choice. Integrate 4820 is used as a fairing coat uh, or a waterproof render or for reinstating honeycombed concrete and filling minor blowholes and other surface defects. Our range of advanced cementitious coatings, Integrate 4840 is an epoxy and polymer modified cementitious coating with enhanced chemical and abrasion resistance. 4841 provides excellent waterproofing, anti-carbonation uh, and chloride iron diffusion resistance properties. 4842 is used where there is the threat of cracking in the substrate whilst also imparting waterproofing qualities. And where additional reinforcement is required, uh, Integrate 4872 is simply embedded into any of the uh, the three cementitious coatings I've already mentioned. 
We will now look at some relevant project examples. Our first project is the Bukit Buran Water Treatment Works in Brunei. If you look to the smaller image on the left of the screen, you can see how the face of the concrete has come away when the shuttering has been removed. In order to bring this structure up to a serviceable standard, a combination of Intercrete 4820, 4801 and a final surface finish with Intercrete 4840 were employed. We can now see the Wellington Dock Water Treatment Works project in Liverpool. Defects in the concrete were reinstated using our high build repair mortar, Intercrete 4801. To enhance the chemical resistance of the concrete and to waterproof the surfaces, 4840, our epoxy and polymer modified cementitious coating, was used in a 2 mm layer. At the Sutton Hall Water Treatment Works in Cheshire, these new chemical dosage buns were sealed using two one millimeter coats of Intercrete 4840. Because 4840 can be applied to green concrete, this accelerates the construction cycle. The Shield Hall Stormwater Tunnel in Glasgow is constructed from precast concrete segments. Looking at the centre of the slide, you can see typical examples of the defects which can occur during precasting. Using Intercrete 4820, the contractor is able to bring these precast segments up to a serviceable standard with a high quality engineering grade finish in a simple application which is direct onto a saturated concrete substrate. This slide shows the gravity based foundations for the Blythe offshore wind farm. This project symbolizes the great synergy which exists between international protective coatings and the Intercrete range. The yellow steel top sections which you see have received a three coat interzone 954 protective system with a final coat of interthane 990. The concrete bases below have received chloride protection with Intercrete 4841. Intercrete 4841 has now passed in excess of 31 years in a pure chloride ion diffusion cell without achieving a steady state of flux. We have supplied many tens of thousands of square metres of Intercrete structural waterproofing at London's Heathrow Airport. This particular example is the T2B tunnel waterproofing project. Intercrete 4841 was specified because it matches the design life of the structure itself. A further important consideration for the client was the water based nature with no odour so that aircraft activity with deplaning of passengers could continue in close proximity. The substructure concrete to this major extension at Broomfield Hospital was protected with Intercrete 4842. This was to provide waterproofing with elastomeric properties in order to accommodate uh, cracks which had formed in the substrate. This energy from waste bunker is a classic example of the problems that can occur during slip forming. Aggregate has caught in the form, but because the form rises in a constant process, the contractor cannot stop to uh, alleviate any of the defects. As we can see, the voids are quite substantial in nature and over 50 tonnes of Intercrete 4801 was used to reinstate the defects and bring the concrete up to uh, a suitable standard. On the shard in London, an apparently simple design change to the lift shaft 
resulted in concrete being cut away and requiring reinstatement. In this particular instance, it was vital to ensure the durability of the structure and hence Intercrete 4801 was chosen as the preferred solution. In the deep access shafts at Moorgate Station in London, significant defects occurred at the bases uh, requiring rectification. In this particular instance, Intercrete 4801 was applied by spray techniques. It was chosen not just because of its mechanical properties, but because Intercrete 4801 displays extremely low rebound uh, during spraying. The example of Paddington Station shows the scale of concrete defects that can occur in major construction projects. Around the tunnel opening, repairs have already been undertaken. On the tunnel wall areas, we can see Intercrete 4801 being applied by hand. This is a high build structural grade repair mortar which can be used in single application thicknesses of up to 80 millimetres. It is then finished to a high quality polymer rich surface. The West Kowloon Expressway is the main highway carrying traffic out to the airport in Hong Kong. During construction, low concrete cover was identified on the precast concrete panels. In order to rectify this, the contractor cleverly blended Intercrete 4841 in grey and white grades to colour match the parent concrete. By applying Intercrete 4841 in two one millimeter coats, approximately 100 millimeters of additional concrete cover is conferred. On the Thames Riverside link bridge, Two one millimetre coats of Intercrete 4841 were specified at the time of construction in order to give additional chloride protection to this reinforced concrete structure. On the recently opened Queen's Ferry crossing in Scotland, low cover was again identified and Intercrete 4841 was used in two one millimetre layers in order to bring the concrete up to a serviceable standard and assure the durability for the service life of the structure. At its peak, Gorgon LNG was the world's largest construction project. On the concrete caissons supporting the LNG jetty, low cover was identified and this was again rectified using two one millimeter coats of Intercrete 4841 in order to confer 100 millimeters of additional effective cover. The chloride resistant properties of 4841 were also considered to be a very positive attribute in this particular application. At the QChem2 ethylene derivatives plant in Qatar, over 400 tonnes of Intercrete 4841 was applied to substructure concrete in order to protect from aggressive ground conditions. Because Intercrete 4841 produces a high strength surface, there is no threat of damage during backfilling. On this low level waste bunker at Doonray Power Station, Cracks in the concrete substrate were sealed using a combination of Intercrete 4841 and 4872. Intercrete 4872 is a flexible bandage system with excellent waterproofing properties against, against both positive and negative water pressure. It is very simply embedded into Intercrete 4841 to provide a durable and effective solution. Buildings and other structures also require decorative protection, which is provided with Intercrete 4890, our pigmented anti-carbonation coating. 
Here we see an example on a housing development in the Philippines uh, where its decorative properties uh, produce an outstanding result. To summarize our high value infrastructure new build presentation, the Intercrete range offers an innovative and cost effective solution. The products are fully CE marked in accordance with EN 1504 and they are fully compatible with parent concrete. Intercrete products can match the design life of the structure depending on the use area. And we have a single source package of mortars and coatings which are moisture tolerant and can even be applied to green concrete. The Intercrete range offers highly engineered quality solutions with durable and effective protection. The products are safe for both the applicator and the environment and, and they are reliable and easy to use. Thank you for your time in listening to this short webinar. Please take the opportunity to review the other content in the Intercrete e-learning suite or for greater detail, visit our website using the links below.